All right, so I had this conversation with this guy on a video about Estonian uh, my heritage, and I like getting into these conversations and these debates. I, I'm a very debate uh, debate loving person. So the debate is about Germanic and Baltic ancestry in Finns. Do Finns have a significant portion of Germanic and Baltic ancestry? Uh, and can I prove it that they do? In fact, I can prove it and I will prove it in this video. Let's go. So G25 models using Latvian, Swedish, Sami and Mansi as the reference groups. And by the way, Latvian, if you didn't know, is Baltic. Swedish, if you didn't know, is Germanic. And um, just to clear things up, average Finnish here, you can see the average Finnish uh, in the result. It is Finnish from Usima. Uh, it's a sample from Genoplot, and the fit is pretty good from 0.73 with Finnish Usima to 1.22 with Finnish North. It's a very close fit. And this is, in fact, the best model using modern populations who are in Balto Finnic for Finnish ancestry. And what can you see from this model? You can see that the Swedish and the Latvian, in fact, make up the majority of Finnish ancestry for all of these Finns. If you model Finnish people as a mixture of Swedish, Latvian, Sami, and Mansi, then Swedish and Latvian make up the majority of it. And this is not a bad this is not a bad model. You can say it's a bad model because I'm using these populations that have nothing to do with Finns. It's not a bad model because look at the fit. 0.73 to 1.22. That's a extremely precise fit. Extremely precise fit. So yes, uh, Finnish people can be modeled as a mixture of Swedish and Latvian for the most part and the rest for the, for the least part. But I'm not going to end the video here, I'm going to go and show you more models. Even though I could end the video here. So G25 models with Lithu Lithuanians, Norwegians, Sami and Mansi. Lithuanians have a bit more southern Slavic ancestry than Latvians. So to com compensate for that, the Germanic portion is decreased and the Sami portion increased. The fit is once again pretty good from 1.08 uh, to finish from Finnish Usima to uh, 1.99, which is almost 2, to Finnish North. Uh, once again a very good fit, but this is a slightly worse fit than the previous model. It's still a very good fit though. And if you add up the Lithuanian plus the Norwegian, it is going to make up the majority of ancestry for all the Finnish people from East, North, um, Usima, Southeast. All of them are going to be modeled as a mixture of majority Lithuanian plus Norwegian and then minority Sami and Mansi. G25 model on Finns in the Bronze Age. So here the fit is a little bit worse because it's a Bronze Age model, uh, but it's still pretty good. It's from 1.94 to 2.92. Um, the lowest fit is with Finnish East and the highest is with Finnish Southeast. So Baltic Lithuanian Br uh, Bronze Age is the Baltic substrate. Levanlukta is the uh, Sami-like or Uralic reindeer herded substrate. And Sweden Bronze Age is the Battle Axe, is the Battle Axe Germanic substrate. So. You can see that the Germanic battle axe, battle axe substrate is strongest in the Southeast Finns. I did not include Southwest Finns here because they have some like actual Germanic Viking ancestry. But even Southeast Finns have a lot of this pseudo-Germanic ancestry from the battle axe culture. And if you add up the battle axe plus the Baltic, Bron the Baltic Bronze Age, if you add the green plus the purple, it's going to be the majority for all of these groups. For all of these Finnish groups, the majority is going to be green and purple. Uh, and the Sami like Levan Lukta is going to be the minority for all of them. So once again, Baltic plus Germanic does equal Finnish. All right. The source of Finno-Ugric ancestry in Finland, Ingria Iron Age, was pretty much entirely Baltic by autosomal DNA. Yes, the people who brought the N1A1, uh, the Balto Finnic haplogroup into Finland, they were actually very Latvian and Lithuanian. Look at the closest populations to Ingria Iron Age. It's Lithuanians and Latvians and Estonians and even Russians and even Belarusians. And Finnish people are nowhere to be seen actually. So these founders of Finland, cultural founders of Finland were very Baltic uh, genetically. And you can model them as a mixture of 98% Latvian and then 2% other stuff, which is Karelian, Hunter Gatherer, Sami, Swedish, Mansi. These are the groups I use to model them. Uh, the majority is Latvian though. And the fit is pretty good as well. So. The pre balto Finnic, the, the pre balto Finnic Finns were mostly balto Finnic would be the Ingria Iron Age, uh, but the pre balto Finnic Finnic Finns were mostly of Battle Axe stock and Levanlukta stock and Battle Axe. Uh, let's scroll up here. This is this the purple component here. This is the pseudo Germanic component in Finnish people, and Levanlukta stock would be associated with the Sami-like ancestry in Finland and the Battle Axe ancestry creates a pull towards Germanics. So Levanlukta, let's scroll up here. It's the orange component in, in this one, in this admixture. Um, 
so let's see who these groups are closest to. So these three groups are the forefathers of Finnish people. Battle Axe, closest to Swedes, Norwegians, Danes, a very pseudo-Germanic pool. Uh, Ingria Iron Age, which is the founders of Finland, closest to Lithuanians, Latvians, Estonians. Once again, very Baltic pool. And Levanlukta Iron Age, this would be like the, uh, the reindeer, Sami kind of people in Finland. Uh, Sami Udmurt, Sami Kola, Bisermianchu, Ash, Komi, and the rest. But the majority of Finnish ancestry, if we split it between these three groups, is Battle Axe and Ingria. And you can see here, this is exactly what this uh, admixture model represents. Battle Axe, which is purple, and Ingria, which is green. Well, actually, this is not Ingria, this is uh, Lithuanian Bronze Age, but it's pretty similar to Ingria anyway. Alright, Finns can be modeled as a mixture of Livanlukta, Ingria, Iron Age, and Battle Axe with extremely high precision. So here I show a model, uh, a mixture of Livanlukta, Ingria, Iron Age, and Battle Axe for Finnish people. And you can see if you add up the Battle Axe plus the Ingria, Iron Age, it is the majority in all of the Finnish groups shown here. Uh, Southeast, average Finnish from Uusima, Finnish East, Finnish North. They're all majority Battle Axe plus Ingria, Iron Age. And the Levan Lukta, which would be the, uh, I guess, it, it would be the substrate that is unique to Finnish people, aside from all the other Europeans. It has found a very low, it, it's, it's, it hasn't contributed much to Finnish people. Because like, the, the lowest is 15%, the highest is 28%, that's not much. For the most part, Finnish people, as I've said before, as I've said in the original comment over here, for the most part, for the most part, Finnish people, Finnish people are a mixture of Germanic and Baltic. So the white DNA of Baltic Finns tells the story of origin. Uh, this subplate of an N1A1 is the most common and prominent N1 branch in Finland, and it's found at super high frequency in the Baltic region as well. N1A1 was absent from Europe until the Bronze Age, when it first arrived in Lapland with the reindeer herders ancestral to the Sami people. Balshoi Leni Ostrov, which I represent as BOO, is actually closest to Mansi, and Samis are the result of admixture between BOO, like people and North Europeans. So when you look at here and you see Levan Lukta, Levan Lukta is not the same as Balshoi Leni Ostrov. Levan Lukta is more like a mixture of Balshoi Leni Ostrov with something more European, which is. Uh, Balshoi Leni Ostrov is similar to Mansi and it's similar to these West Siberians, whereas Levan Lukta, which is ancestral to Finns, is more similar to Samis and more Western groups than Mansi. Uh, the Balto, the Balto Finnic branch of N1A1, which is distinct from the Sami branch, arrived in the Iron Age from the area of northwestern European Russia, Baltics, and Estonia. So this would be associated with the Ingria Iron Age. Um, why it ended up dominating in Finland is unknown, but I think it's because of the founder effect, as there are only two major N1A1 lineages in Finland, and both are shared either with Balts or Uralic Siberians, which reflects the migration patterns into Finland. There are actually Tatar and Turkic branches of N1A1 too, which are absent in Finns. In autosomal DNA, Finns are Northern Europeans with very little Asiatic blood and can be successfully modeled as a mixture of Balts and Lithuanians. So the to, to the original comment, can you show any evidence of that? Here is your evidence. 